Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 2 of Holding Mia. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but it was cute, Hori. Hi, Cody. I'm coming. Let me pick you up. Oh, <laughs> poor baby. Your mom? I just I want the full song of this out now. Like, oh my god, it's just this song too good. Like, mm. Cody, what are you doing in the background, weirdo? Uh-huh. Oh, you don't know his first name! And you never asked him his first name. Oh, shit. Damn, Woody.
not like that, though. I mean, uh, yeah, you could look like that, but... Yeah, you ain't really that smart. Seriously, Kyoko, just ask him the next time you see him. <laughs> I mean, you could ask him. <laughs> exactly. Of course, because she now knows his name and you don't. <laughs> Which is... Isn't it? It's a pretty name. by one of my best boys like oh my god one of my favorite male voice actors play him because oh it's gonna be so good to hear him as Neku again it's pretty 
There's too many pretty boys in this show. Your girl is happy. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> So, I, I mean, maybe, but I think someone else likes him. Oh, I should be too. Oh. Well, there you go. <laughs> so she just sits around. I hope so too. She just needs some sleep. Oh! Oh! I wouldn't throw that out though. Yeah, that's hella important. What's wrong? Oh, the budget report papers. Well, I mean, I had dropped them. But see, and I ain't saying shit about the fact that she bumped into Morty. <sighs> See, I just need Izumi to step the fuck up and to say what the hell happened. Oh. 
But it's not her fault, though. She did the work. Oh, God. Ugh. Don't apologize. Because I uh, bumped into him. Mm -hmm. All is right. She's precious, though. It was just an accident. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Yay. Uh. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> um, no, kill colders got. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> of course I mean anybody would. <laughs> Where's Sengoku? <laughs> Well, you could straight up ask her.
Yeah. Don't know. Of course. I mean, oh. That's perfect. I can't! Oh my god! Oh god, he's fucking pretty! so fucking cute together. I need these two to be together by the end of this damn series once again because this show is so good. This is only the second week on this show! Oh my god! Like, I, I can't imagine how it's gonna be once we get to, like, episode 7, 8, 9, or 10, or the last episode of this show. Like, I'm probably gonna be a mess. I, I'm gonna be... You know what? Yeah, I'm probably gonna be as much as a mess as I was the day before Christmas when Akudama Drive ended and I cried like the whole damn day because of my favorite characters and everything. And I was like, ah, I'm not gonna see these characters again, are I? But this is so good. Like, the fact... I mean... <laughs> Mia? He's a me headbutty the crap out of Sengoku. That has to be probably the best part. Him getting her, getting Kyoko a birthday gift about the popular songs. Like, oh my god. Please, God. Let them be together. They're just so cute. They deserve one another. And I hate the fact that, you know, Kyoko's younger brother is, like, super duper upset. Because one day, yeah, Izumi may not come over again. And I think that day is going to be one of the most horrible moments I mean girl I don't want that I really don't want that I mean because it's like God, how do I say this in a way Izumi's kind of found people who he's like belong with the connection that he has with Kyoko and Kyoko's little brother and then meeting also Kyoko's mom today and then you know hanging out with Kyoko's friends and stuff like that they just really belong together and I can't imagine you know her moving on with the rest of her life especially once because they're almost 30 years and you know eventually once they graduate that's usually when you know friends typically go their separate ways but they still you know trying to get to to have time to talk to each other or see each other whenever they have the time but then 50 out of 50 it's easy in the beginning but then once certain things happen later on in life it's a little bit harder and then sometimes those friendships fade but you still you know have memories and usually those memories will have a great impression on you later on in life and the next time you possibly maybe meet up or you have a lasting friendship maybe relationship maybe they'll get married i don't know i mean your girl wants to read the manga for this so bad but you know like i said i'm gonna wait until this show is over <laughs> So I can read this because honestly, however this show ends in, I think this is either a 12 or 13 episode series. I think it's a 13. Um, by this final episode, I, I feel like maybe it's going to end like in a weird 
open ending or cliffhanger, but it's so weird to talk about it now when we're only in week two. But honestly, yes, like having Kyoko think about the moment that, you know, Izumi may possibly not be in her life again after this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, after this, it's, it's going to be heartbreaking. And I, I don't want that, really. It's going to be a very <laughs> devastating day, even though I'm laughing about it now. But still, I like knowing myself, I'm probably going to cry. Because they're just so, the connection that they have, the relationship that they have, is just so good. And I'm just like, please stay together forever. Please, like, that's all I want. Like, please. Honestly, just do it. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode two of Hori Mia. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Rational Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Saturday for episode three. Bye, guys.